beloved Indians, scientists, academicians, professionals, researchers, Indian as well as non-residential Indian, research scholars working on incubation of technology in India as well as abroad, faculties, students, associate professors, professors, dean of academics, principal, top to the bottom level of academics. On this auspicious, auspicious day of independence, of the 71st date of birth of our country, I express hearty congratulation to all Indians as well as scientists residing abroad and express my hearty gratitude to each and all concerned to contribute towards the advancement of progress in academic and scientific evolution in our country. India being the second largest populated country in year 2017 has contributed towards development of military technology, nanotechnology, Internet of Things, civil as well as structural engineering, apart from medical, paramedical and allied health science sectors. Our country has been a long time But India is a country of ancient civilization. हजार हजार वर्षों की ये भारतीय संस्कृति आत्मसर्वस्व के बदले बसुधाई बंग कुटुम मकम की वार्ता बहन करती है भारतीय संस्कृति कहती है बसुधाई बंग कुटुम मकम सर्वे भवंतु सुखिनः सर्वे संतु निराम है सर्वे बद्रानी पश्यंतु माँ का शिद्ध खबाव हो गए इंडिया बिंग द सिक्युलर कंट्री द लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी all population, all individual, apart of distinctions in religion, caste and creeds have equal rights to contribute towards their higher education and academics research. Vedas and Upanishads of our country resembles the technical advancement that boom thousands of years ago which depicts of scripts and manuscripts of science and technology in the broken walls of Harappa and Mahindradar civilization. <clears throat> India has been exploited with subsequent arrival of foreign elements to our country. India got its independence 71 years ago. Bharat ke pratishtha Mahabharat aur Ramayan ke samay se hui thi jo ki 70 saal umar hamare desh ki nahi hai. But it took 70 years for our governments, bureaucrats, ministers and civilians of India to work dedicatedly for national development and to streamline the issues of administration. But the dedication what Indian scientists gave to DRDO and ISRO as well as our military sectors was really appreciable and the strength of India to emerge as the fourth powerful country in the world would not have possible without their contribution. So on behalf of IFERP, Institute for Engineering Research and Publication and Technoid groups of companies and associates, I express my hearty thanks and gratitude to all the scientists involved and contributing towards national advancement. With this, interaction to all my members and all associates, my colleagues, my staffs of my organization. Few lines of Bhagavad Gita with 
Skan 9.27 is reverberating in my mind. Yat Karosi, Yat Asnasi, Yat Jasosi, Dadosi, Yat Yat Tapasrasi, Konte, Yat Krishna, Yat Mat Apanam. This shows the dedication what Pandavas gave to win the victory of Mahabharat was because of the truth and the legendary success they achieved because of their sacrifices. We in the Technovalid groups and IFERP have rigorously contributed half of the decade and in last few months as well as few years working day and night to bring a scientific revolution in our country. In year 2010, Thomson Reuters, one of the leading publishing and media organization, reported to the River Department of Science and Technology of Government of India that India being the second largest populated country contributes towards world academics only up to 3.5%. Whereas the technically the leading competitor of our country and the largest populated country of the world, our neighbor China contributes every year 10% towards the academic contribution. India leads in the academic fraternity by contributing its research articles every year and the department of chemistries, microbiology, pharmaceuticals leads with only of 6.5% contribution towards academic articles to world publication. <coughs> In this regard of scientific contribution, we went to the grassroots India to provide a global infrastructure of scientific interaction which was not available up to an easy and accessible way in the last few years. Our organization came across colleges, universities, research centers, educational colleges, engineering colleges in remote areas with a verge from village to smart city by integrating one and everyone under a single platform. We organized several conferences, scientific events, workshops in different developing districts of our country, remote areas, where the students and researchers, the incubating minds, the innovators could get a global scope. We brought down the global platform of academics to an optimum level to grassroots India, where our students, our deserving talents, won't be debarred of scientific evolution. In this regard, we organized several workshops and awareness programs in different parts of country related to smart city and application of Internet of Things. In year 2016 and to the mid of year 2017, IFERP and its associated organization focused on smart city. This became effective. From year 2018, we have taken a determination, a pledge to start the evolution of application of IoT Internet of Things for Smart Village. So from year 2018, the international conferences by IFERP will be organized on Smart Village. How? The remote areas and the villages where we all have been started can get a global platform to get its boom and to get success. In last 70 years, the contribution in medical health science and engineering in humanities in general science needed a perfect and global platform with this verge to achieve a success and to make India one of the leading power source of academic and research solution we planned a multidisciplinary R&D association which was must needed we believe our dedication to create this multidisciplinary R&D infrastructures will inculcate the next level technology and will secure our next generation with sustainable solutions to the challenges what we face today. 
in this regard we integrated engineers doctors dentists paramedical professionals allied health science associates engineers of fields as well as academics to a single platform where they can share their research, their research articles their innovation at a global level platform we formed different associations related to science engineering and technology that could be utilized simultaneously for mutual applications of different disciplines interdisciplinary applications including the digital signal communications to applications of signal manipulation in nerves and neuron technology has brought a boom in current years we have emphasized on different integrated science and integrated research our researchers our students our professionals who faced difficulties in last few years to publish their articles research papers in scientific journals by paying few usd was a challenge in our country in this scenario we built up a real perfect global standardized platform where the scientific references could be taken articles could be viewed by starting a venture called researchpedia researchpedia was a venture where the research articles could be referred and cited for free of cost article identification and potential selection of article was a need to india people were following the foreign organization people were dependent on the foreign organization there was financial problems of deserving candidates so we started doi directory digital object identifier that will identify locate the potential article original research works at a global platform scientific database management has been a important service and we have been focused last last from we have been focusing from last few years about scientific database management how the unique articles could be preserved and could be utilized for the solutions of the challenges to the next generation we believe being the second largest populated country continuously contribute under a united platform towards evolution of science will definitely provide solutions that world faces the researchers and scopes we have been inculcating from last hundreds and thousands of year starting from ayurveda contributed by charak and susrut was really appreciable at global academic and medical science so we believe the applications what and the science applications of science and technology the theme of education system imparted in ancient india will provide a solution to the entire world the french astrologer nostradamus once said it is the india who will provide the enlightenment towards new generation when the world will be searching the solutions to our challenges we believe we indians if contribute our academic articles or original research works towards development of science and technology at a dedicated infrastructure could definitely contribute towards the other questions other challenges being faced by other developed and developing countries of the world in this regard few lines from bhagavad gita and mahabharata reverberating in my mind yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutthana madharmasya tadatmanam sujamya ham paritranaya sadhuna vinasaya chatuskutan dharma sasta banarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge it will be an indian by year 2050 which will enlighten the world with the power of knowledge and education we believe by the support of government of india and current active government of bharatiya janata party and our honorable prime minister narendra modi his uh, uh, activities and supports toward advancements of science and technology will be bring changes so in this auspicious day of independence when we achieve swaraj i request all the members associates editorial board members reviewers professors related to our organization as well as students those who have been contributing their innovative articles time to time every day every moment and i, I express my gratitude my thanks to all my 
colleagues, my staffs, those who have cooperated uh, towards our organization and to emerge to achieve success. By year 2020, we commit to the world academics that our organization, which is being rooted from the grassroots level in the Indian soil, will provide a solution to the world academics. I request each and all concerned to the, in the world of academics, Indian professors, Indian scientists, those who are being biased with the brain drain to be a part of our India that will definitely contribute towards brain drain instead of brain drain. The incubation centers installed by governments in our IITs, in our NITs, in leading universities will be providing further solutions to next generation applications of science and technology. Again, we being associated with several universities, companies, corporates of Indian origin have contributed towards education and engineering advancement in different sectors. In this regard, I request each and every concern to contribute their scientific articles, original research works with an international platform, what we are trying day and night to create. And this dream of achieving success won't be possible if we get support from people of India. I request each and every Indian to create a real academic and scientific platform of our original base that will contribute and secure our next generation. Thank you very much. Bande Matra.